Today we are making my husband's favorite whoopie pie, pumpkin roll whoopie pies. And let's get started with the filling. You're going to need a block of cream cheese, a half a cup of butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, and two tablespoons of maple syrup, and four cups of confectioner's sugar. First you want to cream the cream cheese and butter together. Then you want to add your vanilla and your maple syrup. And make sure you get every drip of that maple syrup. And then the four cups of confectioner and sugar. Be gentle with that sugar and not to get a sugar shower. Wouldn't that be yummy? Since I'm going to use the same mixer to mix up my batter, I'm just going to put the icing in a bowl and keep the counter to keep it at room temperature so it's easier to spread later. You want to preheat the oven to 350. Let's go over the ingredients, shall we? We need three cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, soda, and salt, and a tablespoon of nutmeg, all cloves, and cinnamon. A cup of oil and two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, two cups of brown sugar, and three cups of packed pumpkin and I'm using my home dehydrated pumpkin that I reconstituted. First you want to add all your dry ingredients together and whisk them. Now we're going to cream the brown sugar and the oil together. And, and mix that until well blended. Now we're going to add the pumpkin and the eggs and whisk till smooth. And add the two teaspoons of vanilla. Mm -hmm. 
Add half the flour mixture to the wet mixture, stirring well to combine, then adding the remaining flour mixture and stirring until the entire batter is well blended. You want to use a two ounce cookie scooper to drop the batter onto a parchment lined baking sheet or I like using a stainless steel cookie sheet just slightly greased. You should be able to fit 12 cookies on each tray or enough for six Wolfie Pies. You want to bake for 12 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center becomes out clean or the cake springs back when you gently press the top. And I would wait two minutes after you remove them from the oven to place them on a cooling rack to completely cool. That's when you have to be patient for them to come to complete cool so you can put the filling on. If you make my recipes and you would love to share it on Instagram, go ahead and feel free to tag me. I would love to see what you make that I've inspired you to do so. Alright, to fill this icing in there, I use an offset spatula, but you can use a spoon or a butter knife. And you want to make sure you get the outside edge because those will be the more appealing ones to your guests or your family. And then you just put a second cookie similar size on top. These are way easier than a pumpkin roll because you don't have the stress of over baking it and cracking on you or flipping it over and rolling it when it's hot or just trying to make it pretty. But these whoopie pies are so easy. I, I'm sure your kids would love to help you make them. Now after you're done making these whoopie pies, you might want to refrigerate for 30 minutes, but who am I kidding? You may individually wrap these with saran wrap and freeze them, and I'm sure they're good for at least three months if you can keep them in the freezer. And if you want to enjoy them, just remove them from the freezer and allow the thaw on the countertop for 30 minutes. taste this fresh out of the oven whoopie pie that tastes like a pumpkin roll. You think I'm excited? Huh. I'm 
I'm telling you, this is way better than a mug and roll. Because this is a simple fact. I don't have to worry about rolling it up, worrying it's going to crack, then trying to find room in the refrigerator for it. Yeah. <laughs> That is so good. <laughs> I hope you give this a try. And if not, you know, today or tomorrow, find time with your family when the kids are off school and just find an activity to do together. And making these would definitely do the job. Your kids are going to love them. And your whole family is going to love them. And if I don't make a video tomorrow, happy holidays and... Happy Thanksgiving and be thankful for this season and thankful for your family and God and health. Well, God bless. Until the next one, see ya.